Uh, what, what you got for the marketing meeting? For the marketing, if you have a business, especially in retail, okay, you need to be on Amazon. Whew. You need to get your product on Amazon. And I'm going to give you the tip of the day. You need to listen to my Amazon guy. That's the tip of the day. That's it. Bro, good tip. We got a little, uh, we got some news breaking out of the Capitol. Uh, House Bill 251 application windows have now opened. If you are out in the Paulding County school district area, you do now have school choice. Your kids can go to any school in the county that they would like to. Wow. But trust me. Wow. I exercise my school choice. Bro, it takes me so long to get my daughter to school in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the bus won't take her. Wow. Also, for all my special needs uh, family, uh, Senate Bill 10 uh, is now accepting applications as of January 31st, mm-hmm. 2022, uh, as a provision of the Georgia Special Needs Scholarship Program. Parents of students with disabilities who receive special education services may choose to transfer their child to another public school in Paulding County. So all my Paulding County residents, all my folks out there, thank y'all so much. Sheriff Department, I love y'all. <laughs> That's big. But, yes, it is. Uh, but uh, those application windows are now open. And if you need to talk more about the special needs community and how you can help the special needs community, reach out to Ron Anthony. Shout out to, to Ron Anthony. And they can't talk, but we can. His oh, yeah. organization is doing a lot for the special needs community. Wow. Uh, and finally, for the shout out for today, I like to shout out uh, Mr. DJ Rump. He has been officially accepted into the Atlanta Middle School Under Arm Next Football Camp Series Woo! on February 26th. I'm so proud of that young man. 13 years old, man. Got sponsorship already. Bro, he got like four colleges already trying to get him. I'm oh, like, that's wow. Big. That's big time right there. But for all of y'all. Out there in Amazon land, <laughs> and everybody that's done call the show, hit us in the comments, DM'd us, and everything mm. else. They said you got to get this guy back on and, and get us some more information. So, uh, he is in studio with us, as you know, my Amazon guy, Mr. Stephen Pope. Hey, thanks for having yeah. me back on. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We, got a, we got a different technician in the day. She's working with it though. Jazzy, Jazzy. We love Miss Jazzy over there. Well, thank you very much, Jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man, it's so great to get you back, man. We had such a, a just huge buzz uh, last time. I think, uh, hold on one second. We had a, a great comment that uh, was on uh, the YouTube video that we found. And they were saying that, uh, say, if you are reading this comment seriously, bro, you need to consider pitching yourself to some PR firms so you can get out here and have your own shows and have your own stages and, and you know, TEDx, all this type of stuff. And I mean, in these comments, go check it out on YouTube. Uh, you can find the video uh, under the number one rated business show and you can see some of these comments that folks love. But I mean, they're comparing you to people like Steve Jobs and and, and I mean, yeah. Dave Thomas. Big time. I mean, folks. They said that Colonel Sanders. Me? Yeah. I mean, big love. time. But no, nah, it, it's the information that you left with folks. I think you left folks just so buzzing because everybody has been trying to build a business on Amazon for yeah. so long and nobody really knows what works and what don't work. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I think there's a guy that knows the answer to that. <laughs> so, and, and everybody and in the studio today. It's funny because <laughs> everybody been hitting me up from people that have businesses to people that are just like, you can make a lot of money on Amazon. I, h- how am I supposed to do I it? made none. None. I was an affiliate, I uh, Amazon affiliate. You remember that program? Yeah, I, I was on it. And got it my like, little 4%. <laughs> now it's like 1%. They keep nerfing it. <laughs> So 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 let, let, let's let's go back to a couple of things that we, we talked about. You know, this day and age, a lot of folks are, are starting to join this Amazon place. And a lot of y'all late because <laughs> it's already almost a billion products on there. But, you know, how does somebody, you know, start to look at this Amazon world in this day and age in 2022? Because it ain't the same as when it was the little bookshop a long, long time ago. Most people don't even know that that was the first thing that got sold on Amazon was books. Jeff Bezos got into the book selling game. It was like. You know, putting them in suitcases, pulling them into his garage, filling up the cars and then dropping them off at UPS. Right. So it's come a long way since then. You can pretty much buy anything on Amazon today. Yeah. Wow. You can buy oh, unicorn yeah. meat. <laughs> do say unicorn meat. Yeah, like anything. Don't tell my daughter that she <laughs> loves unicorn. <laughs> she gonna mess around and be <laughs> like, "I'm gonna order a unicorn." If you bought unicorn meat, you might also like unicorn bed sheets, <laughs> unicorn balloons. <laughs> the list goes on. Oh, their recommendation engine is something. Yeah. They're, frequently bought together it's coming yeah um, so so with that in mind i mean you you really need to have a couple of things in order to make it make sense to sell on amazon okay you need to make sure that you have 
Of course, my my CTO is calling me on the phone midstream. Here we go. Mm-hmm. It's his like favorite thing to do is when I call call he me wants live. To get that shout out. Yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. in any case, so you need to have uh, you need to have a product. Okay. If you don't have a product, you can't sell on Amazon because it's a it's a B to C business okay. to consumer play, mm-hmm. and you need to have a product that somebody wants. Okay. Now now here's the thing about the product offering, you can't just go on Alibaba and buy an apple slicer <laughs> or a garlic presser. And go launch it on Amazon. That model does not work anymore. I was gonna say because a lot of folks still it's still yeah. selling that to folks. The, the, the go to the Dollar Tree, buy something at the there Dollar Tree, and then go yeah. back and sell it on Amazon. And and guess what? Everybody else could do the same thing. So if it's gonna work for everybody else, it's probably not gonna work for you wow. with a margin. Now mm. there's a lot of different models that you could get started with, you know, and, and most people um, today. The side hustlers, right? And I know Casey, you're hustling. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> every day. <laughs> he, he's a hustler. And if you are a hustler, then the best way to get started is is to do what's called retail arbitrage. Okay. And that's where you take some, whether it's Dollar Tree stuff or whether you go down to Toys R Us when they're going out of business and buy their discounted toys, okay. and then you just resell it on Amazon. Now, I don't help people mm-hmm. do this. I'm just giving this as a tip, as an easy way, low barrier to entry. Whether you got two hundred bucks or three thousand bucks, you can do retail arbitrage. Okay, um, and they and, have, uh, uh, I would say, apps for that. But Amazon has its own like section for that, to where you scan the barcode, it tells you, I guess, how much it's going to cost. 